Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's give everyone a moment to join in on our call, our virtual Girl Scout session tonight. Uh, hi. Go ahead and share with your friends and family as we find out tonight why we are lucky to be a Girl Scout. Uh, so thank you all for joining us. Welcome to Carolina's Peaks to Piedmont Council as we are hosting virtual Girl Scout sessions um, every weekday, Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. So make sure that you subscribe to our notifications for any time we go live so you don't miss any of our wonderful activities and opportunities that we plan to share with all of our Girl Scout families, uh, not only here at Carolina's Peaks to Piedmont, but also throughout uh, our nation and maybe the world even. Uh, so again, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is Crystal Taylor. I am the Troop Experience Manager out of uh, Carolina's Peaks of Piedmont Council. And tonight we're going to learn about why we are lucky to be a Girl Scout. So um, for those of you who are joining us, there's only a few things I need for you to gather in preparation for tonight's session. I need you to have a piece of paper or papers of your choice. Uh, for me, I got some beautiful orange paper that I am using tonight. Uh, so go ahead and get you some paper. Uh, you'll need a pencil. Hopefully all of you have paper and pencils as you are um, being at home, doing your schoolwork and your studies from home. You'll need paper and pencil. But if you want to get extra creative with me tonight and want some creative licenses with our activity, you can feel free to grab your crayons uh, of choice. Or maybe you're into colored pencils or maybe markers, but whatever writing utensil you want to use. But at minimum, I want to encourage you to get some paper and pencil for our activity tonight. Um, again, with the theme of finding out why we're lucky to be a Girl Scout. So I'm going to give all of our viewers a chance to go ahead and uh, go ahead and get those items together, paper and pencil, um, as I... I uh, want to connect us to St. Patrick's Day. Hopefully you're all still wearing your green, even though I'm sure no one wants to get close enough to you to pinch you. Uh, but in celebration of uh, Girl, Scout, um, Girl Scouts and how it connects to St. Patrick's Day, we have our three-leaf clover. And for those of you who may be familiar, the clover does have um, a significant meaning to us in Girl Scouts as we think about the number three. Uh, so go ahead, get your items together. Again, uh, tonight we're going to find out why we're lucky to be a Girl Scout. You need uh, two items for tonight's activities. You need a piece of paper, any color, a back of a piece of paper, your parents' mail, the back of it usually, usually has a blank space. And you also need a writing utensil. Uh, for me, pencil works great because I sometimes make happy mistakes and I need to erase. But you can use any creative item of your choosing. You can feel free to grab crayons if you like to have lots of color options. Or you might want to choose. I have on hand colored pencils as well as our markers. Uh, maybe you want to get out the finger paint and do some finger painting with me tonight for our activity. Uh, but at minimum, again, paper and pencil, giving everyone a chance to go ahead and grab those items. Uh, as tonight, we find out why we're lucky to be a Girl Scout because um, Girl Scouts are always prepared. Be prepared is definitely our motto. And uh, it's so great that we're able to join with each and every one of you virtually, even though we're not able to join together in large groups at this time. Uh, so uh, as a reminder, while you're getting your things, uh, we will have these virtual Girl Scout sessions on weekdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. Uh, you'll get uh, notifications. Just go ahead and subscribe to that on our Facebook page, and we'll be having content fresh for you every day, and we'll get deeper into this as we go further into the time period of us offering this. Uh, so hopefully you're getting your items together. Uh, if you are interested, please drop in the comments below any type of things you would like to see us offer for our virtual Girl Scouts. Um, share with us uh, what kind of activities, um, what kind of badge work, curriculum, or just helpful advice that any of you guys would like to have from your local Girl Scout Council on how to 
uh, handle this situation that we're with and uh, enjoy the time we have with each other, but also have with each other together online. Uh, so we're very lucky to be a Girl Scout and we tonight are going to learn more about how lucky we are to be a part of our uh, wonderful movement, the Girl Scout movement. And we're not in this by ourselves, which is so great about us being a Girl Scout, is that we are connected in a sisterhood in this movement, not only in our Girl Scout Council, not even just across North Carolina, but across the nation and the world. Uh, so for many of you, you probably already know this, but we're part of World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts. Uh, so for short, is known as WAGS. And all of us wear a pin on our uniform that unifies all of us across the movement. So um, that's what we're gonna look at tonight. Uh, as we look at the uh, clover for St. Patrick's Day, typically you find them with three leaves. And um, this is very similar to the model you see of our WAGS pen. So I'm gonna hold this up. This is our final product that we are going to create tonight. As I share with you the meaning behind our wax pen and each of the parts of it. So uh, let's make sure you have paper and pencil or any other utensil you would like to use in this. So with that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep moving along with it. Uh, let me know though in the comment sections below as we're doing this activity, if there are any other Girl Scout activities that you would like to see us host uh, for our virtual Girl Scout sessions. Again, we'll be hosting this Monday through Friday uh, at 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. So feel free to join us on each and every one of these. As uh, tonight, we're going to find out how lucky, lucky we are to be a Girl Scout. So you got your paper and your pencil, and I'm gonna do this along with you. All right, so we have our blank paper here, beginning from scratch. And uh, to begin creating our pen, we're going to start with making the needle in the middle. So I'm going to bring that up for you, the finished product here. And we are going to draw the needle to the compass first. So um, as you're drawing that, we place a compass needle in the center of our gold tree full, gold tree full between um, our lifeguards of the promise and the law to serve as a guide pointing the way and the right course in life. And never um, truer a statement than now is we're um, in America and throughout the world united in all of the things that are going on that we do want to find that compass needle to point us in the right direction and what's going on. So uh, go ahead on your blank piece of paper. In the middle, we are going to draw our compass uh, in the center, pointing up. So it's making a triangle uh, there for you. So I have dr drawn my compass needle pointing up and I'm gonna go ahead and color that in so you can see it greatly on the camera. Again, the first step in our project tonight is we are drawing the compass needle. So we place a compass needle in the center of the gold tree foil between the safeguards of the promise and the law to serve as a guide pointing the way uh, to the right course in life. Uh, so that's very true to right now that we want to make sure we're following that point to whatever it is that is right for us to do in everything we do in Girl Scouts. All right, so our next part now is the stars. So we're gonna do the star twice. There's two stars. We place one star at the left, which is the side of the heart. I'm making sure, this side, which is the side of the heart. The star stands for the pledge that all girl guides and girl scouts try on their honor to keep their promise. So let's go ahead and make that star. I'm gonna do it slightly below the triangle. And again, on the left side for the first one. I am not the best at stars, but you know what? I am gonna give it a shot again. And it's looking beautiful there. So we have one star drawn on here. Again, we place one star at the left side of the heart, um, which is the left side, which is at the heart. And it stands for the pledge that all Girl Scouts and Girl Scouts try 
on their honor to keep their promise. So that is our first star. And then we draw a second star on the other side, on the right side. And we place the star, um, which stands for our Girl Scout and Girl Guide Code of Conduct, which is the Girl Scout Law. So we're gonna draw that on the other side. Now I am going to go for this, making my second star slightly bigger than the other one, but no intention there for it. So we got our second star. Again, that second star stands for our code of conduct that we have in not only Girl Scouts, but Girl Guides around the world, which represents our Girl Scout law. So now we have our compass in between the two, which points us in the right direction. We're pointing in the right direction uh, because we have our Girl Scout promise and our Girl Scout law. So you've hopefully drawn those two pieces. And for those of you um, who are drawing with me and watching this video with me, let's pause for a moment now that we have our promise in law and let's go ahead and recite our Girl Scout promise. Remember, we have three parts to it. So that's why we have three fingers, just like our Clover has three parts, three parts of the Girl Scout promise, our thumbs over our pinky, and our Girl Scout promise is, on my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. So again, when we're making our drawing tonight, that's the one that is on the left side over here, which is representing our Girl Scout promise. And then the other side is the Girl Scout law, which is um, guiding us. And our Girl Scout law, if you wanna recite along with me, is I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. So we have our compass in the middle. We have our Girl Scout promise and our Girl Scout law on the two sides of our compass. From there, our next part is the stalk. That is the base of the tree fold. At the base of the fold of the tree fold, we place the flame. Its burning stands for the love of humankind and is the true flame of international friendship that burns in all of our hearts. This flame um, encircles the world with goodwill. How beautiful is that as we as a world unite together um, to make sure that we're all um, showing kindness to each other. So go ahead and take a moment now and draw your flame underneath. It's just a little like a piece of a moon that I like to consider like a banana underneath to give you a reference point. So here we go with that. Uh, we have our flame, the stalk, which is the base of the tree pole. And it, um, this flame is burning and it stands for the love of humankind. And um, it is the true flame that's an international friendship that we all have together because we're all connected um, in this beautiful thing that we call a uh, life. And it burns in all of our hearts. This flame, encircles the world with goodwill. So we have that now. Uh, now we have our compass pointing us in the true uh, direction, pointing us in the right direction, uh, following our Girl Scout promise and our Girl Scout law. We've added that flame that connects us to that international friendship. And now we're actually gonna make our tree foil. Tree um, meaning three. Uh, like we said, we've talked about how we're lucky to be a Girl Scout and how our clover has three parts. Our promise has three parts. And that's where we get this tree full from. Um, our tree full has our three parts of the promise. So we're going to go ahead and draw that next. Get my crayon. Um, so from there, I'm going to go ahead and draw the three parts. So uh, we make a promise to not only ourselves, but each other. Um, the first part of the promise, on my honor, I will try first to serve God in my country. At any point, you can feel free to represent uh, whatever religion or belief you put in there. Uh, so we're gonna draw that first part uh, of the promise. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country. So there's our first part. I got that at the top there for you. Uh, for our first part of the Girl Scout promise, uh, which begins our tree foil. And then from that, 
we have um, on my honor, I will try to serve God and my country. The second part to help people at all times, which is a beautiful thing to think about. We don't help people just because it's convenient and we don't choose to help people just because we want something in return. Even when uh, things are difficult, we made a promise, Girl Scouts, that we will help people at all times. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that next part of our tree foil here do 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 and we connect it on around like so so there we go we got our next part of our girl scout tree foil uh, which is beginning our girl scout promise our promise being on my honor i will try to serve god in my country to help people at all times and then our third part is to live by the Girl Scout law. So we're gonna go ahead and finish that. That piece of the tree pole is going over the star that also represented our Girl Scout law. How convenient is that right there? So we're gonna go ahead and circle around and put that part in with our Girl Scout law, which has 10 parts, uh, 10 parts of the Girl Scout law. Uh, and we'll do that again. Remember, as you're drawing and catching up with me, that our Girl Scout law states that you will do your best. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. So that is the last part of our Girl Scout promise that brings our third piece of the tree foil of our four leaf, our three leaf clover to home for us. So now that we have that, we are next going to draw the outer ring of our circle. And the gold band surrounding our pins symbolizes the sun that shines on children all over the world. And I am grateful today myself as I look out the window that we did have overcast all day, but now the sun is shining and it's a beautiful reminder that the sun is shining on all of us um, as children together in the sisterhood of Girl Scouts. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my, um, my golden ring. All my things right now are golden because I have a golden piece of paper. Uh, but go ahead and draw that. It's coming from our flame, our true flame, and it circles around our whole piece here. I'm going to loop back around with it. Doo, doo, oh. uh, again, the circle represents uh, the sunshine because it's gold, the sunshine that is on all of the children of the world. So we're circling around everything. My circle is very <laughs> lopsided, but uh, all of you have your creative licenses on what this looked like. But again, we have the outer ring, this gold band surrounding our pen symbolizes the sun that shines on children all over the world. Uh, so we have our World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts pin, uh, which represents all of us, not only in our Girl Scout movement in the United States of America, but across the world. And if you were true to making this, you would actually have a blue background. And uh, the bright blue on our pin symbolizes the sky above us all throughout the world. Uh, we carry um, out the world words of our founder that we wanna aim high and look wide. So if you have, again, your creative items and crayons here, you can feel free to fill in uh, blue in the background here. And I'm sure it's going to show up the same color to all of you, even though I am using a blue crayon. Let me go a little lighter blue so that you can see it for sure. Uh, but that is our World Association and Girl, World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scout pen. Uh, what it represents to us as we're uh, all living in different circumstances today, there is something that unites us all in this Girl Scout movement together. And it's not only our Girl Scout pen um, that we have, but this World Association pen that you all wear, that you are connected to a larger movement. And we all stand together in this as a one group. Uh, that we're being loved on. So 
that is our activity for today. Remember, folks, that uh, we will be connecting every weekday, Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our virtual Girl Scout session, where we'll bring to you a, a variety of different activities. So feel free to drop in the comments below about different things that you would like to see to kind of keep all of us engaged in different activities. School works fun, but Girl Scouts is even more fun um, as we tie in uh, different principles and characteristics that we want all of us to encompass in everything that we do. So I've added in my blue background, again, reminding you that our bright blue and our pen symbolizes the sky above us all throughout the whole wide world um, and that we Definitely want to make sure that we're all connected and being considerate of each other, remembering that we are Girl Scouts and that we have uh, all made this promise to each other as sisters and Girl Scouts, as well as we are committed to our Girl Scout law. Um, so this activity is something that you can feel free to pass on and share to others. Maybe you're new to Girl Scouts or maybe you're not a Girl Scout and you want to know more about what this great movement it is all about. Feel free to visit our website. Um, you can go to www.beagirlscout.org or you can follow us on Facebook and we'll have plenty of people who can help tell you about how uh, great Girl Scouting is and the uh, um, whole assortment of opportunities that Girl Scouts bring uh, to each and every girl that is out there. And for your leaders, uh, hopefully you did this activity with us too because it's a great way for us to all be mindful in this season and grounded in who we are as Girl Scouts, whether we're a girl in Girl Scouts or an adult in Girl Scouts. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us. Again, my name is Crystal Taylor, your Troop Experience Manager here at Carolina's Peaks to Piedmont Council. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to like it. Uh, but if you loved it, make sure you don't just like it, but you share it with your family and friends. Hit the share button on this post. Uh, share our Facebook page to all those people who are looking for different activities to do right now uh, because Girl Scouts Carolina's Peaks to Piedmont Council is committed to every weekday, Monday through Friday, to providing you opportunities to connect with your Girl Scouts virtually, um, 4 p.m. and 7 p.m., as well as we will be uh, adding more content to our virtual sessions for you to get connected on program level specific activities. So maybe you're saying, I want something just for my girls who are cadet girl scouts and some badge work well it is coming for you but for now just join us 4 p.m and 7 p.m and watch out for more updates i want to make a plug for our outdoors team uh, we will be having a campfire session on thursday night for our session at 7 p.m so join us especially every time but thursday night join us by the campfire where you'll hear not only from our camp staff but from our chief operating officer gail rose uh, so definitely Come on over, uh, check us out, and see what we have to offer. Thank you all again for joining us tonight for Virtual Girl Scouts. Uh, peace, love, and Girl Scouts. Thank you.